Hey everyone, it's DOS time, and this time around we are continuing Alter Ego. I accidentally clicked this one in the lower left corner. Uh, we won a fishing tournament for $250. There's like the shortest one of these I've ever seen. Are we actually at the top of adolescent or uh, young adult or whatever it is? You're in a large department store shopping for some clothing. When you left the house this morning, you didn't have time to shave, so you look just a bit of a, on the grubby side. You have a question for the salesperson, but you can't seem to attract his attention. Every time you say excuse me, he says just a minute, sir, and chats with another salesperson about what seems to be a social matter rather than a business matter. Assertive. Get the store manager. He is the manager. What would you like to do? Grab him and threaten him. Leave the store and refuse to shop there. Leave the store and write a strong letter to the company who owns the store. His father owns the store. You don't even get the satisfaction of a reply. So what the hell was the point of that? Just so I could overreact and beat the shit out of him? Like, I'm not going to go to jail for that. A wild driver cuts you off on the highway. Furious. Go after him? Angry. Go after him. Sure. You chase him and begin to weave in and out of traffic. The two of you are driving very dangerously. Keep going until you get the bastard. I feel like we're going to die if we do that. Um, I feel like we will die if we uh, do that. Uh, but I'm like, oh, damn. The guy in the other car swerves in front of a car driven by an elderly woman. You pull alongside him, cursing and threatening him. The elderly woman realizes what is happening and becomes frightened. She steps on the brake and bit too hard and slides off the road. She hits her head on the steering wheel and passes out. Keep going and drive after the guy. <laughs> <laughs> Go back and try to get some assistance for her. Oh my god, you're gonna get in trouble if you do that now. Keep going. Is hurting an elderly woman what it takes to get you to think sensibly? You might have killed her. You know you'll never find out if she regained consciousness. Have a pleasant night's sleep. Hmm. I can't do either one of them, and I didn't miss any other ones. Hmm, am I supposed to do uh, something on this side here? I don't have a, a loan. No, 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 no. I already have a job, I know, I didn't want to do that. Have a family experience. Dick has developed the habit of dashing away from you running toward the street at full speed. You have tried everything to prevent this, but nothing seems to work. While your hands are full of heavy grocery bags, Dick scoots away from you and nearly gets run over by a car which swerves to avoid hitting the baby. Smack the baby. Spank the baby when you get home. Dr. Spock, not to mention Dr. Favreau, would say tiss tiss to this physical punishment. Should only be used as an absolute last resort. Nah, we're gonna beat the shit out of him. Should never be implemented so far after the fact. You need to brush up on your baby care. Your child may grow up to resent you. Fuck it. Screw it. Uh, let him hate us. I already, like, no, I don't want to do any of that. I already have, uh, the relationship. Do we not live together? I'm going to say, um, we got married. Let's try to have another kid. No, we didn't have another kid. Drop out of college. That's great. We're not even in college. Okay, let me look at this. Okay, we are... That's so weird. Every other time we've uh, instantly gone to the next uh, sphere... Review. No, let's... There. Finally, I don't know why it wasn't kicking in. You have passed through young adulthood. This may have a time in your life when family activities took a backseat to establishing some independence. In general, your family relationships are suffering. Physically, you have not been very healthy. Your level of experimentation with alcohol and drugs is becoming a problem for you, even though you probably wouldn't be willing to admit it. In this phase of life, some of the issues you have faced are what crowd of people to associate with and what material items bring recognition from them. Somewhere along the line, you may have devoted a portion of your life to a worthy social cause, like a charity, a van, or a peace corps. 
Your social skills are not very good. Congratulations on your marriage. Now, regarding your emotional and personality development, how long do you think you can get away with your untrustworthy style of behavior? It looks like you are beginning to keep your impulses under control. Or there, every once in a while, you still feel like an urge to get a little crazy. You seem to be enjoying yourself, even though the experience of the blues every once in a while. It's nice to see that you are not having a depressed, traumatized life. Your level of hostility is beginning to turn people away from you. You are frequently grouchy, short-tempered, and irrational. You are usually cool, calm, and collected. Isn't that the complete opposite of what you just said I was? <laughs> Vocationally, you're doing very well. You certainly have a good head on your shoulders. You are not only book smart, you also have plenty of common sense. By this time, you may have been feeling a bit pressure to achieve get ahead, buy a house, or possibly even gas settle down. You have gone through quite a range of experiences already, but there is a great deal more to come. Welcome to adulthood. Life is short, the art long, opportunity, fleeting experience, treacherous judgment, difficult. Hippocrates, 460 to 400 BC. Okay, we are now an adult. We are old. We are 35 years old. Let's see if we can have another kid. Right away, let's have another one. Dang, I was trying to have another kid. Dang. Oh, shit, we actually have one. Oh, awesome. We got a pregnant. Uh, let's try the natural childbirth again. The next two months fly quickly. Yeah, we did all that. Delivery is difficult one. God, another one? Another cesarean? Yay, we had a girl. Awesome. Over the course of the next two days, your wife appropriates. She has severe. You will have to take... Yeah, okay, we... Wow, it's like the exact same pregnancy. Name your child. What would you like to name your little girl? Lori, Courtney, Allison, Kathy, Teresa, Linda, Mary, Sherry, Anne, Jennifer... Hmm. I'm going to go with Anne since the name I would choose is not there, which is Claire. You and your love of your life have been invited to a dinner party at one point during the night. A man whom you both barely know inappropriately brushes your partner's breast and fails to excuse himself. You get the distinct impression that it was not an accident. Windows wants to update right now. How about no? <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, we are angry, jelly, or neutral. Uh, we are neutral. Grab the man physically and demand an apology. Walk over to him to the corner of the room and politely ask him to watch himself. Brush it off as being a silly joke. Let her... Walk him to the corner. Fine, angry. As it turns out, the fellow has a perfectly reasonable explanation. He apologizes and mentions that he has a mild case of cerebral palsy. Gee, my, I'm sorry, you should have been able to tell me that. By looking at this guy outside of, uh, like, like at least just a little bit. Maybe just a tad. Like, I don't know. It just seems like... He has difficulty moving around in crowded rooms as of this, and as a result, he sometimes bumps into people. But it didn't sound like he bumped in. It sounded like he, like, literally swatted her tit. <laughs> I don't know. He assures you it wasn't intentional and offers your wife a sincere apology by not creating a scene you have avoided an embarrassment situation for the three of you. Exactly. You and the woman of your dreams are taking a weekend trip with Jill, Mark, a couple you have known for a long time. During the trip, you notice Mark becomes irritable, having loud public discussions about very personal matters, and drinking heavily. You're beginning to think Mark is an alcoholic. Game, you're hitting a little too hard on the nose right there. Um, <laughs> concerned, frightened, unconcerned. Sure, call him aside and have a chat with him. This is going to go really well. Your concern is met with hostility. What a surprise. It's none of your business what goes on between me and my wife. He says, thinking of alcohol. As far as this stuff is concerned, pointing to you the almost empty bottle, I can stop anytime I want. Please, so butt out, friend. Exactly, that's probably how I figured it would go on. You're feeling around the kitchen on a Saturday afternoon trying to prepare a snack. Yeah, let's do it. You mix a little of this and a little of that. You taste it. It's missing something. What should you add? More bean dip, more cheese. Always more cheese. Eureka! That's it. You create a new tasty sensation. You share it with your friends who rave about the taste. One friend who is marketing believes that you could probably sell it to a certain fast food Mac company for a handsome Mac profit. What will you do? Offer to the company. Congratulations! Your product is accepted. You earn approximately five hundred thousand dollars. Wow! 
We are utterly rich. We are awesome. We're gonna buy a library of books. Yes. Of course we're gonna pay with credit. What else haven't we bought yet? We're gonna buy photo equipment. The computer control, fully electronic camera. We got that. Sports equipment? Sure. Yeah, let's do it. Physical and social spheres increase slightly. I will assume you use the equipment to buy at least a little bit before you throw it in the bottom of the closet. Yeah, you are right about that. We would probably just use it once or twice and get rid of it. We already bought a boat. Though, I think I can buy a yacht now. Oh yeah, we're buying a yacht. What? I thought we had 500,000. That doesn't make any sense. And I feel like I have, it said I have $500,000. I'm kinda, kinda upset about that now. Uh, let's, um, tie toys and goodies for the wife and kids. There we go. Yeah, pay with the cash. Okay, let's move on. Mary Lowe Stoker is a friend of your closest female companion and a staunch feminist. Oh, God. The truth is that she is not a feminist in the true sense of the word. She simply despises and resents men. Exactly. Misapplying the feminist philosophy to suit her needs. One afternoon, you overhear Mary Lou telling your lover that he, meaning you, really doesn't give you that much room to breathe. I mean, he's okay considering the rest of the garbage that's out there these days, but don't you feel a little trapped here in the same place in and day out? What do you do together that's so exciting anyway? Come, give her a piece of your mind, wait until she leaves, and have a talk with your lover. Say and do nothing, protesting too loudly will only prove her. Wait until she leaves and have a discussion. How is that? How is calm and have a discussion wrong? Like that, that is kind of dumb. Angry, wait until she leaves. How angry do you feel? Peeved. What do you say or do? You don't want Mary Lou around. You don't think that what Mary Lou was saying is true and that you resented hearing it. Expressing it rises sharply. This is a very assertive way of expressing your feelings without any misplaced anger. You have a right to feel resentful. Your partner can sense your upset and makes you aware that she has never really taken Mary Lou too seriously. Exactly. While searching through the mail, you come across a hand-addressed letter with an unfamiliar return address. You open it and read the handwritten letter inside it. The letter requests that you handwrite ten copies of it and mail them. Oh my god, it's a chain letter. It contains testimonials from people who have faithfully performed the task to become a benefactors of much good fortune. It reads, A woman in Peoria, after receiving this letter and carrying out the instruction, won two free dinners with every vacation purchased to the Maplewood Dude Ranch and Health Camp, and a free copy of the Jacques Cousteau Illustrated Guide to Marine Life of the Dead Sea that she feels was good luck passed to her by the letter. Conversely, these, there are tales of misfortune for those who do not follow the instructions. A woman in Peoria, after dismissing the letter as nothing but a silly hoax, found her longtime friend and pet wired pet and pet wire-haired terrier of 15 years bubba dead of a mysterious and rare canine aging disease. The woman felt that Bubba's misfortune was the deadly result of her inability to realize the importance of the letter in time. Not compliant. Do not do it. You must be the type who believes in living dangerously. A few weeks later, while getting up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, you stub your toe on the bedposts, necessitating the surgically removal of the toenail from the big toe. That's no coincidence. Okay, that's just... No, that's... No, it, it isn't. You and a close work associate have to take a trip out of town together. He is married. While the two of you are out to dinner, he mentions that he would like to go out of the town and live it up with a few women. Going along with him might mean a profitable increase in your vocational sphere. Excited. Tell him you'll do it. Oh, wait, no. Wait, no. Excited. I want to do it. Yes, I want to go for it. The two of you are like lions on the prowl. You stalk unsuspecting prey. There's the quarry. Two young women in slinky evening wear. They are beautiful, alluring, and vulnerable. You saunter over to them and look them in the eye. You are so close to them you can feel the vibrations of their pounding hearts. Their boyfriends arrive. You can feel the vibrations of your aching head as they pummel you into the parking lot asphalt. Good night. Wow, that, that that's kind of stupid. The, the, very well. It's whatever. 
I, my guy gets his, this guy gets his ass kicked every every second. Your success in the Java market would be more likely to have moved to the other side of the country. Confident, make the move. Don't you think you ought to have a discussion about your study partner? Yes. Good. She tells you that she doesn't want to go. What you do? Give her time to make a decision. That is very considerate of her. Her decision, even though you are sincere in your decision to get her input on this change of life, she doesn't want to leave. This whole dilemma has taken so long to resolve that in the process, the job offer expires. That's what I figured. Let's have an experience with a kid. Dick has just asked you permission to do something that you know Mommy said is absolutely out of the question. No. By going with Mom's refusal for permission, you're not sanctioning the kind of manipulative behavior Dick is attempting. Regardless of whether or not you agree with Mom's judgment, you are helping Dick to deal with people on a more honest level. Okay, one more for this video. You are in the midst of a very difficult decision, one that has you feeling anxious and confused. The thought crosses your mind that your father might be able to give you some assistance in coming up with a decision. Ask Dad for help, so... You've been able to maintain good family relationships over the years. Not really. Now you will begin to see the payoff. The bonds you have developed give you a strong system of support. Your dilemma va vanishes with some simple wisdom shared with you and your father. Your life sphere improves across the board. So nothing really too dramatic. I will make sure I save. Anyway, guys, that will wrap up this edition of DOS Time. I'd like to thank you for watching. And, of course, I hope you enjoyed.